madam president it is unbelievable that in these times of financial and economic crisis the european commission proposes an increase of almost five for the two thousand and ten budget but what is worse is that while the council at its first reading in july put forward a reduction of almost two on the preliminary draft budget this parliament is now proposing an increase of five on it. the two thousand and ten budget would then end up being over eur one hundred and twenty seven billion in payment appropriations which equates to zero eight of the eu's gross national income. is this the way this parliament wants to bring the budget closer to the citizens? it is all very nice to want to subsidise the special olympics in poland and greece and the european youth olympic winter festival in the czech republic or even the shakovea two thousand and ten but our constituents have other priorities in their lives such as paying their mortgages and giving reasonable education to their children. the daily cost of the european union for the united kingdom currently amounts to gbp forty five million per day and the proposed increase will bring it to gbp fifty million or more with a reduction of the rebate. believe me there are many other priorities in the uk to invest this money. And now that the European Commission has warned that Britain is in danger of going bust due to its high levels of national debt, this country would be happy to have a significant reduction on its EU contributions. And I am sure that other countries would also be happy with a similar reduction. Year after year, the Court of Auditors has been unable to give us satisfaction that the EU budget has been legally and regularly spent. And I was very concerned on the lack of control of over taxpayers' money when I was the Chief Accountant of the European Commission back in 2002. But still this Parliament wants to put more money into the EU coffers. Do not count on me to ever vote in favour of any increase in the budget. If you want to subsidise projects to fight the crisis, you should find areas where the budget can be reduced. Thank you.